performance test here. Loaded a ton of poly. I think it was about 1,200, uh, 1200 objects in this package here. And over here, I would imagine something like that too. Using a shader, a DirectX 11 shader, that will uh, automatically polyify things. Running at about 30 frames per second right now. Um, that was before I loaded the 1200 uh, ob poly objects. Uh, so before that, it was running at about 100, which was pretty good. Those other poly objects took surprisingly a lot. A lot of them. It's a pretty good thing. So yeah, the trees gray out. Um, I think it's so it's due to this this add on. Got some distance check thing going on. So whatever. Um, yeah, I don't have calling on, so just check my performance and style as well. Let's just see what the style looks like. Move the other is closer. Things become colleague. A little bit is like uh, faceted. That's what they're calling it. The trees are not faceted. Um, and that's because I haven't applied. I've only applied the shaders to the shader to the. Uh, the regular, um, the regular asset shader using the GPUs shader. Uh, uh, so, now the nice thing that I like about this is that uh, it's making development um, a bit easier. It's 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 a lot faster to navigate the zone and load more assets. If I actually can I disable it, yeah, I'll disable that in a sec. I'll show you that after. And this one actually already came low poly. Probably the guy like found these these models on the internet, low polyified them, dropped it in here. Do something like that too. Let's check it out without the low poly. The way that that works is I just put this switch shader on there. So without it, check out the frames per second. Let's see here. Actually, I haven't changed quite that much. Okay, frame is still poly. Yeah. Oops. Uh, This down here is no longer low poly. Oh yeah, yeah, the terrain is because I, I applied a material to the terrain that was low poly, so it's, it's still that one's still low poly. I feel like the performance that might have been coming mostly from the terrain. And this asset was already low poly. And the shader doesn't seem to degrade ones that were already low poly. Which is interesting. See if I so where is that? Oh yeah, I guess I got material. Um, 
of all the terrain. Just have to do Hmm. Definitely noticing a um, feels more responsive, even though the uh, the CPU usage doesn't seem to have changed very much. It uh, it's spending more time rendering than in script, but it's, it does feel more responsive. Spending so much time in scripts. Hmm.
Let's get this out of here. Do we do that big? Holy water. There's where my next performance went. Whoa, so much better. I'm just blazing through here. Look at that. That's so. Even though the objects were not in view, it was still rendering with holy water. Um, uh, where do I want to go here? There, go back to my camera. this back to a thousand. All right. Zipping now. 100 FPS. Nice. All right. Now I can see what it was like for those highlights. So we're floating at around 100. Pretty, pretty decent. All right. Now, if I go back to the game like that, switches off, go back to my all the terrain. This one is too far away at this point. So I reduce and put that. Okay, so far. And yeah, it still it feels less responsive. It's spending a lot of time in Switzerland. Holy water's back. Okay. Come on, holy water. Not bad. I must have um, been in play mode. So, yeah, we're sitting at 100 here. That's good. What happens if I. Yeah, but if I, I'm facing a scene uh, that's, that's high poly, it goes down to 60. It's all over the place. 